And uh, so we're talking to Mark, and uh, one of the things that uh, we were uh, going to get into, and we, we talked a little bit about this, I know, in the past, but a lot of people still have con questions and are confused when it comes to in-law apartments. You know, what are the rules? How does it work? Uh, tell us about uh, in-law apartments. <laughs> well, let me give you the legal answer. Ready? It depends. Oh, boy. It depends. It depends on what town you're in. It depends on the property that you have and the amount of land you have of what you're able to do, right? So I encourage folks to who are thinking about this, right? And there's a lot of people thinking about this. We've been talking with a lot of people, both uh, builder clients, um, land use, mortgage people, and, and folks who are thinking, you know, what is the next step? What are we going to do with mom and dad um, and that sandwich generation, right, the multi-generational homes? Uh, you know, there's a lot of options for folks um, when it comes time to this. You know, I spoke recently, thank you to Lynn over at Linden Pond. I spoke to a group of people there last week about the, the wonders of, you know, estate planning and real estate in the market and all of that. But that's a great option for people, too. And we talked about, you know, having those open and, and um vulnerable conversations, right? Authentic conversations over the holidays. You know, what do we want to do? Maybe you, you want to have the in-laws come live with you, but maybe they don't want to. And a, and a Linden Ponds type of uh, facility would be an awesome option. But a lot of people are really focused in on, you know, staging in place, you know, and we had um, David Tortolot. I know he's on the radio quite a bit. We had him mm -hmm. as, as the expert guest for our continuing education class yesterday at our real estate school, and he talk, talked about reverse mortgages, which is a wonderful structure for folks who want to age in place, age in their home, use the equity in their home to not be pulling from their stock portfolio right now. Maybe they have the mutual funds and such and the market's down, and these reverse mortgages are an amazing option. But the in-law apartment is also really interesting, and it's super interesting to me. As you know, Rob, I was on the zoning board here in Marshfield for a bunch of years, and <clears throat> and that was a, a provision in our bylaws that, you know, it, it kind of bothered me, and I wanted to affect change, and, and we were able to do that, but I encourage everybody to look in their zoning bylaws in their town. What are the rules for ancillary dwelling, accessory dwelling, in-laws? Those, those are the terms that you'll find in the definitions. Go find those. Find out what the town requires. You know, is there a certain square footage required? Does the, does the home need to be attached to the other home, right? Because basically what you're doing is you're creating another home. It's not a two-family home, right, because what um, certain towns don't have zoning for two-family. It's a single-family zone town with these ancillary or accessory or in-law dwellings. And oftentimes they are required to be attached. Sometimes they aren't. Mm -hmm. But we're seeing a lot of really creative uh, solutions with this. Uh, one of our builder clients, Ron Hollander of Hollander Construction, is working through a project uh, with the shipping containers. Have you seen those shipping containers and the homes built uh, out of the shipping containers? Really sturdy, really strong. Some of the ones uh, in the storms in Florida that were built with this strong material survive these storms and he's doing that i would check him out on instagram ron hollander follow his instagram because he's doing updates on these container housings but definitely dig in and i'm always open to talk with people about strategies because you know as bob teravecchia from coastal was talking about on your show yesterday the interest rates that accelerated like a rocket ship so fast yeah. um you know was really a shock to a lot of people in the financial industry so people are looking to be creative right and some people want to stay home some people want to be with the grandkids and there's a lot of different things but it's there's a lot of red tape or there's a lot of misunderstanding of what you can and can't do and it's important that folks um you know, understand what the rules are, and I'd, I'd love to strategize with folks. We have that Calendly link that I've shared in the past, calendly.com forward slash mstyles, and, you know, I'll call you, and, and we can we can talk through strategies and real estate professionals, you know, helping folks through this uh, marketplace. You know, we've talked about all of the different ways to pay down your interest rate because, you know, as we were talking about last week or the week before, I forget, you know, the interest rates are really the only thing that's changed. So how do we solve for that problem? And, 
you know, doing these seller concessions with these buy-down programs that a lot of our lender professionals are instituting and marketing through is one is a, is a great solution, but some people don't want to move. And as a professional in the real estate space, you know, you want to help guide them with that and these in-law solutions that most towns have mm-hmm. uh, is, is, is a really, really cool solution because everybody has their own independence, but yet they're sharing and, and assisting with one another in a, in a multi-generational setting, which is always fun for the memories for kids and seeing the mm-hmm. wisdom of the elders and all of that. No, no, you're right about that. Sometimes um, it's a, you know, you want to do that and, and you're planning for that. Other times uh, this may be, you know, where it's just completely necessary and uh, you want to have the in-laws uh, nearby, you know, maybe because of medical reasons, whatever it is. And you got to be sure you go about this, I guess, in the right way, uh, Mark, as you said, follow the, the rules, especially, obviously, yeah. before you uh, make any uh, make any adjustments or do any construction, right, if you're going to be changing things. Yeah, and, and most, so going to your online zoning bylaws in town, finding the definitions and reading and doing a little bit of your own research, but the, the towns, most town officials are really helpful and open to uh, dialogue. So, you know, you would go to your local building inspector and ask about this uh, and what the rules are. But, you know, do your research. It's it's online. It's available, I would say, in every town, uh, but I would say most towns. Uh, you go online and find the, find the zoning bylaws. But what's most important, Rob, is not to assume things, right? To have that open dialogue with family, right? We're encouraging people to vote next week, right? And we, we want everyone to get out there and vote, 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 vote next week. But then let's put politics aside at Thanksgiving and let's talk about, you know, mom and dad or aunts and uncles and cousins and kids and grandkids and let's talk about what, what the future lay ahead and, you know, what do you what do you want to do? What are your goals, ambitions? You know, let's not react to it, right, Rob? We've talked about the proactive, reactive quite a bit on this show and in my advertising on ATD, but, you know, why, do we need to wait for mom to fall down or, or are we going to be ready, right? Mm-hmm. Do, we, do we need to wait until dad's starting to lose cognitive ability or do we want to prepare and get those, get those next steps lined up and ready to go so we're not scrambling and possibly making a bad decision? But it requires talking. It requires everybody to openly, vulnerably have that conversation. All right. Mark Styles, Styles Law. And if people want to find out more, they go to styles-law.com. He's on Route 139 in Marshfield. Well, his office is. Mark is there. But right now, as we talked about, he's got business down in Florida last week. And this week, he's up at the uh, in New Hampshire. And uh, he'll be back soon. So uh, Mark's got a great team. You can get in touch with him. Right, Mark? That's right. Best is to give us a call at 781-319-1900. 781-319-1900. Concierge or contributor who answers will get you in touch with the right person as well. I always encourage people to check out our YouTube channel, Rob, at YouTube uh, at Styles Law for a lot of these Feel Good Fridays as well as a lot of questions. Uh, we create videos around these frequently asked questions. And again, do your research, check it out, learn a little bit, and then give us a call and we'd be happy to assist. And again, I have that Calendly link for strategy at any time, calendly.com forward slash M Styles. Would love to chat with everyone if All I can help. Very good. Mark, have a uh, wonderful weekend. Thank you. You as well. Have a great week, folks.